Got me a full-blown gift. What in the world? Christmas special, my goodness. In a world full of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, grading, selling, buying, one card game remains supreme. One man has the insights you need to know. Watch and subscribe now. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube. What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube here with a one and only Dark Magician 81. We've got mail from DM81, and I'm excited to open it. He's got some cards to submit to PSA. If you have any cards to submit to PSA and you want to go through my channel and me, let me know on my Instagram down below. Go check out the description down below and message me on Instagram for more information. Before we get into his video, and I think he's had some other holiday gifts, um, so yeah, if you're watching this, this is probably an older video that I'm uploading now from the holidays. Uh, we have these really, really cool cards. Um, these are actually not authentic, unfortunately. I wish they were. These are Japanese. I don't know if they're stickers or cards, but my goodness, look how cool these are. Look at these. I don't know, what in the world is that? What in the world is he stroking right there? That's weird. Uh, that's a weird card. Whoa. Okay. Alright, look at that. Look how cool these things are. I'm gonna look at this. Now that's sweet. Um, now these could be, um, Amada cards that are real cards. They are just not foily like this, the Amada cards. Um, look at that. That is super cool. Oh, man. Look how cool that is. Look at Gramps. Wow. Taya, look at that. Whoa. Very cool. Um, so yeah, these were basically, let's just look before I get into them, look how cool these are. Look at that one. These are basically distributed in uh, shops in Japan, kind of as fan-made stuff. There was rumors, oh man, look at that, that is sweet. That is so cool. There is rumors that these cards swirling around, they were real originally, but unfortunately, no. Everything I've heard, and look how cool this back is. That is amazing. Everything I've heard was that the ears are not, unfortunately, real cards. Some say they came from the sticker machines and all that stuff. Uh, mostly someone in Japan, some shop owner, supposedly went and made a bunch of these. Now, again, I think these could be, especially these right here, these could be actual uh, Amada cards that were turned into, like, these crazy shiny stickers. Oh, yeah. So, yes, these are real cards, um, but they're just replicas of the cards. So yes, these all exist, but just not super shiny like this. Um, and it almost looks like there's a word here, which is kind of crazy. So, pretty, pretty sweet. Um, so these have the actual backs of what the cards would look like. The cards are very, very old um, by Tway, I want to say, but I could be wrong on that. Correct me if you do know. And that looks like a Christmas tree with Christmas presents. That looks like Merry Christmas. That is just absolutely stunning. Um, so just some cool little tidbits. Again, these were distributed in Japan from some shop owner. Um, he kind of made these real cards into stickers. So think of it like producing, I guess, a real Yu-Gi-Oh card into a sticker, making it all shiny and all this good stuff. So let me just hypothetically look at this one here with the Korra and see how this one looks in the back. I just thought these would be cool to show off. Uh, let's see. And boom, yeah. So there it is. This is how the real card, number 25, right there in the set, is how it would look. So it's pretty, pretty sweet. I will say that. And it's just crazy, crazy amounts of shine. Looks like snowflakes, so pretty cool. Very, very cool. Um, I wanted to get the real cards one day. I'll have to add those on the channel. I love weird stuff. And these are just cool little fan-made uh, items here. So Very, very cool from Japan back in the day. So very old as well. Not authentic, so you can't get them graded, but uh, still cool. Uh, let's see here, and we are going to get into this from Dark Magician 81 um, And he put Merry Christmas on this huge, massive box. Excited to see what he has here. Is this... This is some sort of gift. You're kidding. 
What in the world? And in this, grade cards. All right, well, this, this this is unnecessary. This, I feel terrible. I didn't I didn't get Dark Magician eighty one anything. This is this is awful. Got me a full blown gift. What in the world? Christmas special. My goodness. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. This is awesome. So, Dark Magician 81 gave me a Yugi's Collection 3 Yugi's World as a gift? This is insane. Oh, my goodness. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I am going to open this bad boy on my channel, okay? And we're going to give away the contents. How does that sound? You know, the holidays have passed, but uh, the giving, the season of giving, I feel like should never pass and being generous. So this gift is going to be re-gifted. I'm sorry, Dark Magician 81, but it's going to be re-gifted. It's going to be open on this channel. We're going to have some fun with it. What is that? Three packs or five packs per box? Uh, looks five packs. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to select five lucky winners. Uh, from this box from this opening and we are going to give the cards away pack by pack by pack by pack And we're gonna open it on YouTube. So that should be super exciting. I really appreciate it. this was so unnecessary uh, My goodness go, go please go check him out. Give him a follow give him a subscribe He's one of the most genuine guys on uh, on YouTube. I'm gonna go give him an interview I've been meaning to do that for quite a while again feel good channel no matter what so Super awesome. Super, super cool. And, uh, yeah, I was not expecting that. So, uh, again, that will be re-gifted to the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. And, again, it's going to go to a good cause. So that is just super, super exceptional gesture. Uh, what do we got? And then we've got some cards to grade. What are these going to be? Thank you. Thank you, Dark Magician. Thank you, everybody who stuck with this channel. I mean, this has been... Obviously, I've been a little more inactive than I wanted to be, but I really appreciate all the continued support on this channel. This is amazing. Um, and wow, we've got some big cards here. Uh, Duelist Revolution, a Solemn Warning Ultimate Rare. Look at that. We've got the Dark Magician Girl. We've got a Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Two of those. We've got a Caius. We've got a Toon Bookmark. Is that the Collector Rare? Yeah. Toon Chaos Collector Rare First Edition Toon Bookmark. How about that? What in the world? This... Oh, is this the Stainless Steel? This might be the Stainless Steel Blue Eyes White Dragon. This thing's heavy. That's a Stainless Steel, folks. Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm sold. I want one. I've never had one of these in hand. That's amazing. Um, this is stunning. You got some good stuff with this next submission, man. Uh, we've got uh, Japanese Red Parallel Rare. I don't 100% know what this one is. Another Japanese. Wow, look at this one. Another Japanese card. More of them. Dark Magician. That one's obvious, and that pops. We got all the red text. Look at that. Lighter Beast Octavius Odin Ultimate. There's an El, El uh, Shadal, Evil Inferno Ring, uh, wow, Evil Hero Inferno Ring, Ultimate First, Harpy's Feather Duster, Toon Kingdom First Ed, I like this card a lot, Cyber End First Edition, and this one's an Ultra First Edition, this, this is good cards here, number uh, 92, a Blue Eyes White Dragon Ultimate, and a Duelist Pack, I believe that's the Duelist Pack version, Holy mackerel. So I'm most excited about the Solemn Warning. Uh, Kaya's Tune Bookmark is awesome. The Stainless Steel Blue Eyes. That thing is cool. Um, and then what else? Uh, I would say uh, the Evil Hero from GLAS. Gladiator's Assault. Tune Kingdom for sure. Two Cyber Ends. This is going to be fun. Let's count how many you got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. 24. Let me just double check and make sure it didn't do 25. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 24. Okay, 24 cards. Let me make sure there's no stragglers. Nope, no stragglers. All right, man. I, that was so unexpected. And uh, I'm excited to do that opening. So hope everyone catches the opening and uh, checks it out. I appreciate everybody. Again, supporting the channel through these uh, hard times and uh, my busy times, but again, more the hard times of what's been going on in 2020. Thank goodness we're at 2021. Till next time, appreciate it again. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube, signing out.